Welcome back, people! We are still doing the big four. A lot of the big movies have already come out. Big, you know, $200 million blockbuster explosion extravaganzas. So now, the one we're reviewing tonight is not a big $200 million explosion extravaganza. It's, it's better. It's just better. And what we are talking about is The Conjuring. All right, well, I first saw the trailer of The Conjuring probably about two or three months ago. And I had no idea what it was. I think I was on Trailer Addict or something, and it said The Conjuring. I was like, oh, here's another horror movie. So I clicked on it, and it was the trailer that you can see right here, that uh, the clapping trailer, if anyone's seen that. I saw it, like, immediately. I watched it, and immediately I wanted to go see this movie. Oh my god, when is this coming out? I have to see it now. You find out it's based on a true story, and those are the things I like the most. I love horror movies or supernatural, anything that's based on true stories. The other thing about the trailer was I immediately showed it to my wife, and as soon as I showed it to her, she was like, we've got to go see that. So this is actually directed by the guy who did the first Saw movie and Insidious. Now, if that doesn't tell you something right there, come on. I totally agree. As I, as I said, this was based on a true story. Now, somehow, Vince, out of all these years, and, you know, you know I love the paranormal. Um, I've gone on several paranormal investigations, one with you, to St. Augustine in Florida. Yep. You know, somehow, between all this, I never heard of the Warrens. I don't know how that's ever happened. But I've never heard of these people. I had heard of them. I just, I never, like, looked into who they were or anything. I don't want to give any spoilers, obviously, away with this movie. But the very beginning of the film, they're talking about a creepy doll. And they show it in some of these trailers if you've seen it. Now, this has really nothing to do with the plot of the, the movie itself. It's kind of showing what... The Warrens were doing, and these are real people. Ed and Lorraine Lauren were real investigators back in the 1970s. They were like the very first paranormal investigators. Yeah, I, I think that's really where everything sp spans from is these people. So after I saw The Conjuring, I immediately came home that night and started looking up The Warrens because I wanted to know, you know, how much of the movie they showed obviously was real. And one of the things that showed in the movie was that creepy doll in the beginning of it. And the Warrens actually have that doll. And that was even more freakier than anything I thought. You know, I think the only thing, only doll that has come close to being that creepy to me is probably the, the clown in Poltergeist. One more thing about the Warrens here. The actor and the actress that got to play the Warrens were... Fantastic. I mean, these were great actors. They, they were just phenomenal. I've grown to like Patrick Wilson throughout the last several films he's done. He's gotten better and better. Lorraine Warren was the woman who plays Norma Bates on the Bates Motel series. And on that series, she's incredible. In this, she's even better. Yes, she was fantastic. And that, that was what really kind of threw me for a loop, Vince, was this movie was more about the Warrens than it was, almost than it was about the actual investigation. And I really wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just going to be some sort of creepy, you know, ghost story, haunted house story, but that's not what it was. It was more focused on the how they did the paranormal stuff in the 1970s. And, and it was more focused on the Warren family than it was anything else. And I love that. I thought that was so awesome. Exactly. Uh, that actually surprised m me and my wife because when you look at the trailers too, it seems like it's all going to revolve around this family, and it doesn't. It, it, the family's there, 
there's the family part of the story, but it actually is more about the Warrens. And I'm not sure who any of the actors in that family were, if there are any well-known people there, but they were also amazing actors. There is a fairly well-known actor. His name is Ron, Ron Livingston. You've been missing quite a bit of work lately. Well, I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> but the real question is, Vince, was it scary? Should I get into this, Dave? Really? Should I get into this? Well, I know for you, Vince, that you had a problem going seeing it in the show. I unfortunately went to this advanced screening, and it was one of the worst advanced screening experiences I have ever had. Whenever they would go into like the lower parts of the film, or, or speaking lower, or whispering, it was really hard. You had to strain to hear it. That was one thing. But what compounded that and made it worse was the people that sat around us, right over my wife's shoulder, that kept saying the same thing over and over and over. Damn! He said this repeatedly. Damn! When you get people that are so into the movie and they go, you know, don't go in there, don't go in the closet, don't go in the, you know, don't go in the room. That actually makes the movie experience fun. But this was just obnoxious. And this one guy just sitting there going, Aah! the entire time. It was just horrendously bad. And it was really hard to enjoy the movie and actually get into the frightening parts of the film. I mean, there were still parts in the movie that made my wife and I jump. And that doesn't really happen in a horror film for me either. You know, I don't hardly ever jump at a, a horror film because I've seen a billion horror movies and, you know, I'm pretty much desensitized to the jumps. I kind of like know when they're coming and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I very rarely jump at a, at a horror movie, but this movie had me freaking glued to my seat through the whole thing. And I jumped several times in this film, like almost out of my seat. And it's that good. I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and that's one thing that the, the director and the people that made this film, you know, with Saw and Insidious, even those two films... I mean, he knows how to build up tension. He knows how to build up up suspense and and get you that point where even if you know what's coming, even if you can see, uh, uh, you know, he's going to go in that room, he's going to see something, or you know this creepy figure is going to turn around and you know it's going to be scary. You know it's coming, and it still makes you jump. Yeah, and that's what makes a great director, and this guy is amazing that, that did this movie. And, and even if 5% of this movie actually happened to these people, my God, Vince. You know, like I said, I, I really had trouble actually getting into the scares only because of the atmosphere I was in. But I can say this, okay? What I watched on screen, what I saw on screen, what I got somewhat to experience out of the film I loved it I thought it was fantastic the acting was fantastic the directing was fantastic the movie was fantastic I would have to give this movie I, I can't help but give the movie I normally would not do this, but first of all, I can already tell you that I got an update. Breaking news update for you. Hi, this is Brad Beckerton with the WBOR Double Doppler Special News Report. I just found out just a few hours ago that this movie, The Conjuring, will become a new franchise with the Warrens in it. Damn! The director says he's going to continue making 
movies with the Warrens in it. Great. That would be fantastic. So, yeah, this is the beginning of a new franchise. And it's going to be, hopefully, an amazing franchise. So, normally, I reserve this rating for Horror Month. But, since, you know, this is going to be the beginning of a new franchise, and it's such an amazing, scary, incredibly acted, great movie, it's going to have to get... Golden... <laughs> Oh. Oh shit. Out of all these big, huge, blockbuster, two hundred billion dollar movies, you got this little amazing horror film, and I hope that it finds an audience. You know, when, when all this is a weird time to bring it out too. I mean, you got all these big things coming out, but next week when it comes out, there really isn't nothing coming out for the next couple weeks. So it might have a chance to hit number one, or at least get the number two spot here, and because people really need to go see this. That would be cool. Oh! Sage.